For me personally, I find great satisfaction in pursuing questions that can have an impact on people's lives. And it's not just about tackling these grand challenges for society, but it's the process that's fantastic. My research is all about tissue engineering, and we seek to design new types of biomaterials that can interface with living tissues and cells to help the body heal itself when there's an injury or a disease. So one of the biomaterials that my group works on is a special type of biomaterial called a hydrogel. Maybe some of you know a hydrogel as a jello that one can make yeah. or a contact lens. And so we're gonna make 3D gels, so there should be about 30 microliters. Okay. Sometimes we put them in the body to deliver molecules very precisely and with the right time and the right sequence to get tissues to heal. So we could imagine getting rid of stainless steel fracture fixation plates, permanent uh, hardware in our body, and instead think about a degradable biomaterial that could fix bones and maybe okay. even deliver molecules to help them heal faster. Wow. But sometimes there are even grander challenges. Right now, when you have a heart attack or if you have a fibrotic heart, there's no known way to repair and regrow a heart muscle. So here, we're going outside of the body and we're trying to grow miniaturized versions of heart cells and heart tissue. We call that an organoid, so that we can better understand what's going wrong and discover new types of treatments. On the left here, we have male cells, and on the right, we have female cells. And you can see that there's a huge difference between these two images. One of the things that was an interesting moment for us was to realize that cells from men and women behave very differently. I think it's interesting, you know, the concept of a woman isn't a small man. And one of the things that we think about in our lab is that we should consider differences, not just based on size and weight. And so we're using this as, as a model to begin to think about personalizing medicine. It's a decade-long problem, but I think the promise is very exciting. When I think about the future, I think tackling some of the biggest problems that society faces requires diversity. And so my dream or our vision is that young girls at a very early age, um, when you ask them to name a scientist or engineer, that in their mind pops up a rock star woman, scientist or bioengineer, I think that would be wonderful or fantastic. <laughs>